is the best way to position your crypto in order to mid-max minimize risk but maximize the potential gains that you're able to get with what you have is it to try to find bottoms on two three hundred four hundred dollar moves or when I look at charts like these like the two day right now on Bitcoin or Litecoin part of me just wants to it would be a lot easier so to speak to actually just take uh, uh, all the crypto that I want to trade with Bitcoin Ethereum Litecoin EOS Ripple and set the leverage at 5x long it and forget about it for three months until May because I have a feeling that um, I mean that's that's enough to see see some big gains man taking a look at the one hour we have been in this consolidation well how should I put it when the money flow comes down and is just close to the zero line as it was for example like right here we have this kind of weird finicky movement wicks up and down in this instance it broke down a little bit and then came back up I'm basically looking for the same thing to happen I'm like okay so let's say we break down a little bit come down to 9k's bam I'm gonna load up these damn longs and rock it up and when I zoom out and see this I'm like damn you know I just I mean I could spend more of my time instead of doing that I could spend more of my time handling other things personal life business stuff whatever if I just set it five acts and disappear and just let this baby go up but if I was you know I'm in a fortunate position where I can do both and um, you know my life is good but if I was not in this situation and, you know, every single dollar that is being traded was like extremely super important. I don't know. I think the 5X and walking away long is might be a good idea. There might be a couple people out there that might want to think about that. Oh, by the way, shout out to our previous video, The Super Bowl. Shout out to all of my people that went along with the under and the touchdown from the one yard line. Bang, bang, baby. Bang, bang. Shout out to the guy in the comments. I, uh, I wish I didn't remove, I, I, I hid the user from being able to see because I just cut people that are negative out, screw them. But shout out to the guy who said, looks like I'm betting the over. How'd that work out for you, buddy? How'd that work out for you? Let's take a look at Litecoin. Because yes, it is true. And it's almost kind of like a blow to the ego of us Bitcoin of a Bitcoin maximalist that Litecoin is giving the early signs of what the market is going to do. But hey, you got to go with the charts. 
You gotta go with reality. Doesn't matter what you wish in hope. What matters is what is. Mm. So let's take a look at Litecoin. As we see here, you know, when the money flow comes up and it kind of peaks, what happens, right? So it peaks and then it begins the descent, right? It begins, begins the kind of divergence. And so what happens, right? So, okay, it had a nice run, comes back up a little bit and then it cruises down until it bottoms out, then shoots up. So we kind of already hit the max, right? Cruises down, starting to kind of cruise down and it diverges, right? Price still, whoops. Price still goes up, of course, right? So let's say if it comes down here. So we're looking kind of for like another little dip as far as short term, as far as scalp trades, looking for the best time to get in on, you know, a little drop. Once we see signs of this bottoming out, get it up again and boom, set it and forget it. I mean, this next one, ooh, God, I'm really looking to, really looking to fire off a barrel and really crank it up. I really want an another, shoot, what was it, a week ago? Uh, I didn't mean to exit a, my full long, but I did. I, I exited the full position. I did not want to exit all of it because I wanted to keep that buffer, but I did. Oh, well. Um, and so I want that buffer again on a nice fatty, fatty position. When we're looking at the four, the six hour, let's clear this up a little bit. We see that we still have room for the flow of money to diverge, even just to keep on continuing. This doesn't have to disappear, actually. The larger time frame I go to, the more bullish it is. I mean, this why, who cares? Like, why, why, it's, it's, the, when, I don't even know why we're even tunnel visioning. Why even scalp right now? Why even take the chance when we can just set it and forget it? I mean, we can just set it and forget it right now. Have more time to spend with our family, friends, business, personal life, do whatever. Man, I want to just set it and forget it. But yeah, looking for a little little pullback here. Technically, and, and, and fire off this barrel. This chart makes me think that we can at least come up around here. Maybe even more. The platform is built. Man, is this two-day beautiful. Looking at the three-day. It's coming up here. Let's look at the five-day on Litecoin. What is that looking like? Ooh, see, this is why I like Litecoin charting right now. Because this looks different with Bitcoin. Bitcoin, the five-day on Bitcoin... Um, it's like still green, but it's weird. This came into the red, and we want to see this curve. Let's, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. This is bullish. Man, this is bullish. Mm. So I guess the point of this video is, is really just... Uh, You know, we've 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 been around long enough and just maybe we should all think about out of our crypto portfolios, how much do you have dedicated to these scalping moves and how much do you have dedicated to the longer term moves over the next month, two, three months, setting it and letting it ride for two, three months. And perhaps if maybe I think there might be a, a good amount of people out there that should maybe move some marbles from one jar into the other just in case given their situation I know I'm thinking about it going on with gold mm. 
you guys know how I feel about this. I think this is just gonna phew, gold's gonna just keep going. What a beautiful, beautiful curvature. Look at the momentum of the of the money flow. It's still in that it's it's in this is on the weekly. How it's kind of in that weird phase. See how it's it's the same thing with Bitcoin. How it goes in when it's in the center and it's in that little weird phase. It just kind of it just goes up and down sideways. It goes sideways when it's in the middle here. And and the next move it went from it went from down into the middle, which is sideways, and it's moving into the positive money flow. Gold is going to go up on on a good run. I think for a little while here. So what have I what have I done? I've I've uh, <laughs> I got cannonballs made of gold. I I have gold teeth. Gold and silverware. Goldware. I'm like a pirate. Yar matey. Yar. Look at my baby Zcash. My favorite shitcoin. I hate Zcash charts because of that. Uh, let's take a look. See. Two day on Zcash. Beautiful breaching, beautiful breaching. You know what I see here? Look at this. This is kind of a similar, similar little pattern here, right? And we know crypto loves repeating its patterns. Have a little upward wick, kind of that, and then pew, she takes off. We got one right here. This is gonna take off. It's gonna take off. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's good times for shit coins. Good times if you're a shit coin person. Yeah, it's moving. I'm, I'm, it's, 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 it's positive in which direction, which direction. Let's look at the S and P. What's going on with the S and P here? This is just a damn straight damn line, straight line for the S and P. So funny. What a boring, boring asset. Boring chart right here. The S and P. Oh wow, jeez. Oh wow, whoa. whoa. Look at that. <laughs> Where's the monthly? Let's see what that looks like. Not much to see there. Now what do we have here? Here we go. Wow, look what happens with the S&P. When the green breaches into the red on the money flow boom right here was a breach boom right here is a breach right Beep. what was this percentage three percent about right here let's enhance this a little bit and my money flow breaches right here what is this percentage Five percent. Hell, even this one. Let's take a look. The heck here? here we go. Boom, right here. Let's measure it. Four and a half percent. Here we go. Now let's check on the one hour to see if it has breached. It is just breaching in the red. Uh yeah, I think it's time to short the S&P. I think I think we're I think this is a short. It's 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 a short. Got a little cut in on the gap right here. I think it's a short.
What else? Let's look at this terrible Amazon. Amazon. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at the, how, how the money flow acts with Amazon. We're on the two hour rate here. So let's see here. Money flow comes down, breaches. Okay, yeah, that, that went down. Money flow breaches. Right here, came down 10%. Wow. See money flow breaches right here. Went up 9%. Wow. Money flow breaches right here. Come on. Was this where we were? Right here. Comes down another 9%. Money flow comes here. Breaches goes up 4%. Then you have your anchor, trigger, money flow coming down. Boom. You got your signals right there. Bang. Went down. That looks like probably another 4 or 5%. Now we see we have it coming up right again. It just breached after this pump right here. I don't know how I would feel. I don't know how I would really feel longing this right now after this kind of pump. But... waves are getting a little smaller i mean amazon you know I, it's 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 funny when i look at my own life of how much i use something from a company it really gives gives me a good um intel on it amazon i use amazon all the time which i know means other people are wow look at this ascending wow look at this look at that actually this is probably amazon's probably gonna have another breakout Shit, this might be long. This might be... What the hell? What the hell did I just do? Yeah, this this actually... This, this looks like breakout. This is going to break. This is going to break. Amazon's going to break to the upside. I mean, why would Amazon go down? There's, there's no reason to. They're the kings. And it doesn't have to go to the end of the triangle. It doesn't have to go to the end of the triangle. You may have missed your chance to get into the bottom. It, it, the bottom. Uh, yeah, Amazon looks like it's going to break out. Shit. You know, why not? I might long some Amazon stock. Good intel here. Good intel. But is it tied to the s and P? If I'm if I'm thinking the S and P 500 is going to go down, can Amazon go up? It's so important. Amazon's half the damn stock market. So it feels, so it seems. Mm, best trade. There are some, God, there's some opportunity out here. We are so lucky. We are so lucky to be able to do this instead of other things that people have to get up and go do every day. Some of you probably have to do both, but just know that if, if, there's no reason you should be a flopping groper. There's no reason you should be losing at all right now in any market. Crypto, standard markets, commodities, cattle. No reason. Uh, tell you what. I tell you what. Uh, what day is it today? Monday. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to run 30% off of Market Cypher again for the rest of this week until we'll, we'll say Saturday again this time just because it's too, man, it's too good, too good to be true, too good to pass up. Market Cypher, just, just, man, it's, it just, I, I can't, I, I don't know how I, how, <laughs> I don't know how I traded without it. I mean, I do know, but it has saved me so much more time. I, I don't have to look at charts nearly as long. 
switch nearly as, as many screens and type in different indicators and adjust this and save that and look at six, seven different things. It's all in one. Market Cypher is the truth, baby. Market Cypher is the truth, baby. So life is good. Life is good. You know, let's all rethink about how we're trading and what allocation size of our uh, assets we're trading and how, whether it's short-term, long-term, whatever. And, and you know, we have to take what the market gives us. And it's, I think it's going to, it's, it's, this is a good, we're is going to able to give us a lot in the next three months, but we do not want to over risk. So it's Monday. Have a good rest of your week. And I'm looking forward to the price action. You know, if Bitcoin, honestly, I really don't think Bitcoin has much room to the downside. I, I really don't. This this little, I, I don't think we're going to move down much, if at all. I mean, I, I right now we're in that middle, that middle zone where there's just little wicks and whatnot. And yeah, we might go down a little bit. But honestly, the, the 9200s, down to uh, where's what I want here come on How can I not find the one thing that I want? All right, here's what we're going to do. We'll do this. Yeah, I'd say like at the bottom of this channel to like somewhere in here i really don't think that this it that that uh, I, 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 I don't i don't think we're really gonna go below like anything in here could be wrong but we have stronger momentum to the upside what was this percentage right here when we came down this was a 10 percent move to the downside uh let's take a look see here so 10 percent move down would be 8500 but we are more bullish, so yeah, maybe something like this. Hell, the more it goes down, in my opinion, the better in this short term, because once again, when we zoom out, we see, oh shit, things are looking super bullish. Sayonara. Talk to you guys soon.